Hey guys, Penem here again, and today it's that time of the month. Yes, yet again, it's NDD. I don't really keep count anymore, so uh, I guess this is like the fifth episode or the sixth one. I'm not even sure anymore. This will be included in the title of the vid, though. And uh, yeah, so this mini series that my channel uh, has basically simulates what a new player to the game would have to go through before having uh, what you would consider a playable deck for tournaments. Uh, it is already playable. Uh, the deck started out with the Cyber uh, Starter Deck, Cyber Strike um, Starter Deck, I believe. Um, the, the blue box, basically, the one before this one. And uh, yeah, we had two of those. And with the time passing and everything, we opened packs with a budget of $20 a month, which is basically like an, al an allowance of $5 a week, which is estimated to be what a kid, which is the target audience, as you can see over here, uh, would get from their folks. So yeah, uh, we're allowed to do trades every once a month also. So we do these openings and we can trade for cards that were also present in these um, packs we opened. So this week we will be able to get some cards via trade from the Structure Deck Cyber Slink. But we also have a $20 budget, which means that this deck being $10, we also had enough money for another Code of the Duelist Special Edition. So yeah, this is also $10, which makes it about $20 for the whole opening, which is, according to budget, all right. And uh, yeah, basically we didn't buy two Structure Deck Cyber Slinks uh, because a new player wouldn't buy double decks too often. Even though this one has some very good cards in it, doesn't mean that a newer player would, like especially a kid, it doesn't mean that they would buy more than one copy of a starter deck or something. The first time we did it, because it was the beginning of a new series, the beginning of a new player and everything, but this time around, we're just going to go through it pretty quickly, and we're only going to buy one box, because that's what the kid would have done, probably. Most probably. So yeah, we'll just open it quickly. Most of these cards will be very useful. Since the deck is based on Cyber Monsters and Link Summoning, this will become very useful. Encode Talker, Trigate Wizard, Dual Assemblerm, Signet Backdoor, very useful cards up to now, Binary Sorceress, Digitron, Dotscaper, a lot of good commons, Balancer Lord will be exceptionally good in this deck, Realm Claudia too. A lot of these cards are also just basic reprints that are still pretty interesting. Like these cards over here. Soul Charge, very useful in this deck. Uh, when you get board wiped and you still have some life points left, this card saves you a lot of problems. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus, Mind Control, Cosmic Cyclone. This, I'm not sure I'm going to keep in this deck. I might actually trade it out because I know it has some value. And even though a kid doesn't really know the value, a lot of people would ask for it. And since the deck already has two Mystical Space Typhoons, I'm not sure the kid would put this inside instead because you do have to pay a thousand life points. But yeah, we'll, we might use it for trades for uh, another copy of Trigate or some stuff like that. This will be put to the side for now. Uh, Moon Mirror Shield, where our Thou recoded alive, Miracles Wake, Powerful Rebirth, Premature, Swamp, Quantum, Storming Mirror Force. Pretty neat. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in here because we have some normal Mirror Forces, but this is better sometimes, so we might keep it. Dimensional Barrier, also the same type of situation as Cosmic. And uh, we have this promotional dueling thing. Could be used as a token, I guess. So yeah, uh, basically a lot of these cards will be included in the deck. It will take some time to do it, so I will have to cut the video at some point. But first, we'll finish opening our new packs. Last time, we got pretty lucky opening some packs from uh, for this deck. Uh, usually, it's... <laughs> Beginner's Luck is something very in powerful with this uh, mini-series. We've had a Firewall, we've had uh, very decent pulls, we had an Akashic. Uh, honestly, sometimes I feel kind of uh, like I should be using the cards in this deck for other decks I own, but still. We have the Starboy and Skullmaster, so we didn't get another Solemn Strike. 
which is not bad. It would have been useful, but we didn't have to have more. One is the least you need, but it's still the amount you need. And we have three packs. Yes. Now let's see which one will we open first. Come on, beginner's luck. Show us your magic. So these are not first edition, obviously. Break off trap hole with recall. And well, for all the commons, I don't believe we will need any of them uh, at this point because we've opened a few Code of the Duelists in the pack uh, in the past. Zombina, Jane, Launcher, World, Cyber Wizard, and Im Imduck. Okay. FA Downforce and our final pack. Something more than a super, please. Beginner's luck. Pulse Mine, Boogie, F.A., Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. It's more than a super, Twilight Eraser. It's not very useful for this deck, but it's still more than a super. We will sleeve it, because this could be traded eventually. Or right now, I, I don't know when exactly we're going to trade it away for some more useful stuff. But it's still something that can be used for trades. Out of our rares, there's nothing really useful at this point. Recall has been pulled before, and I'm not even sure if we're going to use it. But it's stuff for the collection, I guess. These two supers aren't very useful either in here. Cyrus Wizard has already been considered, and Break Off Trapple, well, it's a little too situational, you know? It's not bad, but it's, it's not the best. So yeah, uh, this was the opening part. Now I will have to cut the vid. I'll see you guys on the next part of this uh, opening. And hopefully we will have something that looks at least half decent for the newest version of the deck. I'll see you guys pretty soon. So yeah, uh, basically we decided to trade two, dimensional, uh, two of the commons over here. Dimensional Barrier and Cosmic Cyclone with the Lee the World Chalice Fairy. For all these cards from a uh, second um, Cyber uh, Structure deck, and Code Talker with Trigate Wizard for the extra deck, Dual Assemworm and Sign It Back to World. Dual Assemworm is a maybe for the deck as a double, but at least having it once in the deck is good. Two is a very decent option. Sign It Back Door is a very good card for the deck, and Balance Lord and Rom Claudia allow a lot of good combos, so these. Basically, Trigate is the more valuable card out of all of these, but we do have four foils for only one, and Cosmic Cyclone does have a decent value, but considering there's Trigate in here and the other cards aren't that um, expensive but still aren't free, and since Lee lost a lot of value with time, I would estimate that a normal kid would agree to this trade. Uh, it looks pretty half-decent, but at least the kid gets some useful stuff in his deck in exchange for Lee, which it would not be used. Dimensional Barrier, which does not affect Link Monsters. And Cosmic Cyclone, which is not necessary in here. So yeah, we will add these over here and these over here in exchange of these cards over here. So for the extra deck, we will have these to add. For the main deck, we will have all these to consider adding. Uh, we do have quite a few. We will have to remodel the whole deck almost. And for the maybes, these might go in the deck. This might, uh, These might not go in the deck. Still hesitating. I don't remember if we have already a secretary in there. And uh, yeah, but they are interesting cards to consider adding to the deck. For now... I will have to cut the video again, sorry about that guys, but uh, I will have to edit the deck quite a bit and it will take some time to think. See you guys pretty soon.